Hi. Um, I was asked a question on the forum about canola oil and how good is it for us and um, in particular in processed foods. I suppose my first comment would be why would you want to eat processed food because it's just not great for us if we can avoid it at all costs. Um, and the reason being is even when you look at not only the sugars and refined ingredients in there, the oil isn't of the same quality as what you can buy off the shelf. So the oils that they're going to use in these processed products have been put through chemical processes um, to extract it that have subjected it to more heat or chemicals, which is going to lose um, the benefits of the oil and increase the amount of substances in there that you don't want. So canola oil itself, or what we call here in Ireland um, rapeseed oil, is actually a, a very good oil for you. I have two here with me. So this is one that I have in the cupboard. It's um, an Irish company. Um, it's cold pressed um, rapeseed oil. This one has additional algae oil in it. So it has extra omega-3. Um, but the thing that's good about this cold pressed rapeseed oil or canola oil as it's called in the States is that it's got a higher smoke point. So it's helpful for your stir fries where there's going to be a little bit less damage to the oil if you're moving up into higher temperatures. It's also got a lot of omega-3. So if we look at the breakdown, um, this one gives me an even better breakdown. If we look at the regular um, cold pressed virgin rapeseed oil, <clears throat> it's got saturated 6.9 grams, so very low in saturated fats. Monos, which are the same as what are in olive oil, at 57.2 grams and then what makes it stand out is that the polyunsaturates are 30.6 grams and a large fraction of that is omega-3. Um, polyunsaturated fats are also more sensitive so this is where the quality is really really important. Um, there's a better breakdown in this one here which is a little bit more algae oil so it's going to add to the omega-3 but we're looking at an omega-3 per 100 mils of 11.3 grams omega-6 18.8 and omega-9 which is monos um, 55.3 so do I think rapeseed oil is good if it's unprocessed um, if it's not been heat treated um, yeah I do uh, it has a different sort of flavor it's not the nicest one if you're using cold and salad dressings and stuff like that um, I sometimes use it um, for roasted veg um, instead of olive oil or coconut oil just we tend to vary them all up um, but it does definitely have a slightly different flavor now that may be because as I've just noticed my oils are just gone out of date um, January 18th is my birthday um, and this one went out August 18th so they probably have a shorter shelf life because they haven't got and they haven't been processed. That's why we process things, gives it a long shelf life. And they haven't got any additives or preservatives in there. So the minute you take the oil out of its protective seed or nut, it's going to be more susceptible to oxidation and damage, which is heat, air, light. So they should be stored somewhere cool in the press away from the sun and used before their expiry date. So should you eat canola oil and processed food? Mm, no, not really. <laughs> if you can avoid it and can find an alternative, should you eat any oil and processed food? Actually, the best oil and processed food is probably saturated fats, um, butter, um, lard, um, because they can't get as damaged by all of the processing they're more stable whereas the more sensitive oils the seed oils and nut oils are going to be more damaged um, by the cheaper processing methods used the heat etc um, etc et so hope that answers you thanks for asking